Nothing to Pod Group declares OB ship among wolves. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. The PTB Northern Support Network, PONSN, has described the Labour Party LP presidential flag bearer Mr. P2B, the only candidate that can fix Nigeria from the current challenges, asserting that OB is the only ship seating among wolves. The spokesperson of a group comrade Sani Saeed Al Tekre stated this yesterday during the Northern Summit in Kaduna. Atukura lamented that Nigeria is bleeding stress and that Obi has creative ideas that can end in security in the country. He therefore urged eligible Nigerians to get their permanent voters card in order to make the desired positive change in the country. Earlier, the governorship candidate of LP in Kaduna State, Terebo Shunago Madinga, called on Nigerians to show sentiment and go for competence. The Labour Party candidate is judiciously going to end insecurity in Nigeria with his wide spirit. We are going to get it right this time around. Unemployment, unemployment has been a factor of insecurity. It is time for Nigeria to wake up. We have lost humanity in this country. Lives has no value. We are going to use every scientific means to make Nigeria work again, he said. The woman leader of his party, Haija Hoosman, said women and children by the receiving end of insecurity and charged Nigerians to take back Nigeria. You said the fact that this, um, the Labour Party candidate for um, governorship, I mean, the Labour Party governorship candidate for Cardona is coming out to even say they should choose competent. See, choose competent. Choose competent. Choose competent over ethnic or religious, um, you know, Yes, choose it over ethnic or religious sentiment. You can say it again. No, people testified about him in good ways. Even his openness acknowledge his good. So what else does Nigeria want again? If you ask me, I don't know who I go ask. <laughs> okay, moving forward. They said the movement is social media. Are these people not live there or not? <laughs> well, uh, that is what I concerning or pertaining this particular social media issue. A lot of people have been trying to play down on social media, saying social media, you know, it's not. And I'm saying, do you know how many big brands have their following on social media? Like, and most of them are 21st century. And most of them are the ones causing tsunami and shaking the foundation of those ones you have known for years that are not on social media. Okay, I guess you know the rest. Nigerians can now say that nothing in this world would Nothing in this world can pass God. The stone beauty rejected is now the chief color of a stone. Ibo man to be the key of this country called Nigeria. I've said it before, don't trivialize this movement. <laughs> it is not going to be end well. This one is not a matter of Ibo man here. Stop calling him an Ibo man. He's a Nigerian. Exactly. He's a Nigerian before Ibo. Thank you. I have people that reasons are like here. Okay. North and South East are one, please. Okay. North and South are one, please. Let us support P2B. Okay. Mm. The movement has sent the balance message. Well, this is me calling the non-Nigerians. If you know, say you don't, you don't have the worst of times. I don't want to believe there's anyone in Nigeria that's not felt it. Even the rich. Even if you are rich, you are stinkily rich to the fact that you own your lister from morning to night. I bet you, you know they happen like that because of the price of diesel in the market. And the time, the price of maintaining your, your lister. <laughs> yeah, I go tell you, say, you know, I see the bee now. A lot of things have, and you spend more on food, now you spend more on almost everything. Almost everything. If you are serious and this will be the movement, prove it by getting your PVC and make sure you go and vote. And make sure you vote wisely. You vote wisely. Do not sell your vote all for a new Nigeria. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh. All social media voters will cry when a Tiku Ifanyu Okawa ticket takes over Nigeria from vampires masquerading as leaders. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Tenebe is a Yoruba APC, Atiku is a Fulani PDP, Obi is a Nigerian. Hallelujah. Let me see hallelujah. Okay. Nigerian youth has woken up from the slumber. It is time to salvage Nigerian from old and sick politicians. Let us make Nigeria great again. Obi obedient movement. Obedient movement is the answer. Well, apart from coming online to give him support, I will also advise obedience to make sure they do the needful offline, converse for people, tell people the the so um we should once again tell us of the truth, come outside, cast your vote for the person who is the most competent of all. In fact, one thing I love about what I'm hearing is that people are saying come out of vote competency. Don't vote for tribe, don't vote for religion, don't vote for region, just vote for that person who you feel has the solution to the problem of Nigeria. Apart from your antecedent, I mean your candidate antecedent, what he's done in the past, what is he bringing to the table? What is your candidate bringing to the table? Is he bringing rhymes or is he bringing wealth or strategies? Has he done his homework? What is he going to be? Or what does the people of Nigeria stand to gain if he's given that particular seat? That is what we'll ask ourselves. Then when we are convinced that, oh, this person, oh, this person, nah, nah, person will be saying, him will do well. Then you vote for the person. Come 2023, we should ensure we do the right thing. <laughs> we do the right thing. We do the right thing because now all of us then go follow chop. If the... If the food sweet, now all of us go follow and enjoy them. But if the food tastes sour, now all of us then go follow still and enjoy them. So at the end of the day, we should make sure we pick people not based on ethnicity or religion, but based on who is the credible, competent, and capable person. About Peter B being bulls and sheep, um, I mean being sheep among wolves, I don't know about that one, no, but I know that um, Obi is somebody who is a fresher. You know when you're fresher. Atiku has come out to run for presidency for many times, not just once. Terembu, he has not come out openly to run for presidency, but he has been at the background running a whole lot of things. Obi is the new person among them that is, you know, trying to. And apart from the, he's the new person among them that is coming out for the first time as president, he is actually coming out with ideas, with creative ideas, according to this article sincerely is coming out with ideas that tell people that look, apart from the fact that this is what I want to do, this is how I'm going to do it, and it is what people are looking forward to. Hopefully, you know, the people's choice are going to stand come 2023. Hopefully, that is if you come out and cast your vote. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy. The